Hey guys, this is Pesh from Beyond.com and MediaTek has been kind of upping its game lately. I mean, the Dimensity 1000 Plus chipset was pretty impressive on the Oppo Reno5 Pro and now the Dimensity 800U chipset on the Realme X7 has been pretty good. Now, the Dimensity 800U chipset is something that we'll probably see in a lot more mid-range smartphones this year. So, like we promised, we did some really extreme tests on it. Yes, this is MediaTek Dimensity 800U Extreme Performance Test. Okay, so first up, let's get the specs of the Dimensity 800U out of the way. I mean, I know you guys are aware of the specs, but how does it compete with the Snapdragon 750G on paper? Okay, so the Dimensity 800U has its advantages. It should be more power efficient because it's a 7 nanometer chipset compared to the 8 nanometer 750G. It also has the higher clock speed on its two primary cores at 2.4 GHz. However, the 750G has the newer Cortex A77 based Cryo 570 CPU compared to the Cortex A76 on the 800U. Now, apart from that, they both have different GPUs with the Dimensity 800U featuring the Mali G57 GPU and the 750G packing the Adreno 619 GPU. They both have 5G support, although the 800U supports dual SIM 5G with dual standby. Now, I already talked about the benchmark scores of the 800U in our X7 review, but let me just revisit them really quickly. So when it comes to Antutu, 2, a CPU plus GPU benchmark, the Dimensity 800U goes ahead of the 750G, especially because of its better GPU score. In fact, I even ran a gaming benchmark on the Realme X7 and the Mi 10i, and the 800U again beats the 750G here. So the benchmarks do give us a good idea of how capable the Dimensity 800U chipset is, but how does it perform when it comes to thermals, battery drain, etc.? Well, I tested things out. First up, I did a pretty simple gaming test. I played COD Mobile on the X7 for two hours on the trot with the display set to max brightness. And you know, I wanted to check the temperature and the battery drain and the results were pretty good. See, after an hour of COD Mobile on the phone, what I found impressive on the X7 is that the phone only got slightly warm and nowhere close to overheating. I checked the temperature and it was around 37, 38 degrees, which is pretty comfortable. I also checked the battery drain and it was 16%, which is good. Anyway, after two hours of intensive COD mobile on the phone, I did notice the phone got slightly more warmer. But trust me when I say that, I did not find the phone to be overheating. It was just warm and the temperature was around 41, 42 degrees and the battery drain after two hours was a total of 33%, which again is good. Now those numbers apart, I have been using the Realme X7 as my daily driver. I mean, I have put in my SIM card in this phone and I played a lot of games on this phone, but there's just no heating whatsoever. Anyway, one thing I have noticed in a lot of phones is that they start overheating when they're charging. But that's not the case with the X7. Here I am checking the temperature on the phone while charging and the phone has been charging for around 30 minutes. And as you can see, the temperature is in a very normal range, so that's good. But how about playing games on the phone while charging? Well, I did that too and yes, the phone does get warm after say 25-30 minutes of gaming, but it's not overheating. The temperature when I checked was at 42-43 degrees, which is not a problem. Now, another area where I wanted to check the temperature of the phone is while using Android Auto. See, I drive to a studio every single day and it's a 45-50 minute ride. And I use Android Auto to keep a tab on the traffic and also control music. Now, I have noticed that in this duration, a lot of phones heat up, but the Dimensity 800U does well on that front too. I have been using Android Auto with the Realme X7 for the past 10-15 days and the phone has never even gotten warm and I think that's how it should be on all phones. So there are no heating issues or any weird battery drain on the X7 with the Dimensity 800U chipset. Now, if you've seen our full review of the X7, you'd know that the battery performance of this phone is very good and that's in our day-to-day -day usage. Now, I did not tell you the battery idle drain, but to tell you now, the idle drain is somewhere around 5% on some days and 3-4% to on other days, which is perfectly fine. Now, moving on, I wanted to check if the Dimensity 800U throttles the performance when put under pressure. So the first thing I did is I installed the CPU throttling test app and ran the test for 15 minutes. See, this is an app that loads up the CPU with up to 100 threads and then sees if the CPU starts throttling the performance. So the green in the graph basically means no throttling. The yellow means there's some throttling, which is kind of expected on most phones and it's fine. And the red means there's a lot of CPU throttling going on. Now here's the end result of the Dimensity 800U after 15 minutes of the test. And as you can see, it did a very good job here. The CPU only throttled to 90% of its max performance, which is very good. I mean, I also did this test on the Mi 10i, and while it was good too, it throttled to 85% of its max performance. So yeah, the 800U is slightly better. Now, I did another test to check CPU throttling. I charged the phone to 100% and ran the anti to benchmark five times consecutively without any breaks. Now, a lot of phones start to heat up in this test, which results in CPU throttling and thus a drop in scores. 
where the Realme X7 did heat up a little, which is something I expected, but here are the scores from the phone. And as you can see, they all remain mostly consistent. I also noted the CPU temperature in the end, and as you can see, it's around 50 degrees, but this is fine really because I've seen phones go up to even 70 degrees in this test. Well, those are all the tests I did on the Realme X7 with the MediaTek Dimensity 800U chipset. And you know, after all of that, it's pretty clear that the Dimensity 800U is a very solid smartphone chipset. See, it's consistent and fast when it comes to day-to-day -day performance and gaming. And even when I put it to extreme tests, it did really well when it comes to thermal, CPU throttling and the battery drain. Overall, it's nice to see the MediaTek Dimensity 800U competing and even beating Snapdragon chipsets in the same segment. And honestly, I want to see more phones with the Dimensity 800U in the future. Anyway, I hope I've cleared all of your doubts on the Dimensity 800U, but if you still have any more questions, make sure to comment below and I'll try to answer as many as I could. So yeah, make sure to comment below. Also give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure to share it with your friends and yeah, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.